What's going on guys? This is the Red Rogue and I hope you're all doing well today. While there haven't been a ton of life-altering changes on the PTR for us rogues other than like the flagellation update and the legendary tuning which is middling at best, there have been some bug fixes and just quality of life improvements for us sneaky boys. And one thing I want to talk about today in particular is a change to count the odds that has bugged me since beta. So thank you so much for joining me today and now let's talk about free roll the bones buffs. So as I always try to mention in PTR videos, things are always subject to change, but it is a fix that I'm very happy to see that will hopefully be on live servers with patch 905. For those not familiar with the Count the Odds Conduit, it is the best de facto choice potency option for outlaw rogues. Basically what it does is, your ambushes and dispatches have a percent chance to give a random roll the bones buff that you don't already have for 5 seconds. If you use either Ambush or Dispatch from Stealth though, the chance and duration of the buff are tripled. I actually did a video about a month or so ago on ways to optimize your Count the Odds usage, mainly because it has a number of quirky features on live servers. Basically, if you've used this conduit at all yet, you'll notice that your free Roll the Bones buffs disappear whenever you re-roll the bones, or if your Roll the Bones buffs falls off naturally but your free Count the Odds buffs still have time remaining on them. This has been a really annoying issue that while I guess technically not a bug, but it kind of was, it's been really annoying to deal with and is something I reported on beta numerous times and has been on live servers since it launched. Thankfully on the 905 PTR this will no longer be the case, as your Count the Odds buffs will last for their full duration no matter what you do with your regular Roll the Bones buffs. This is a huge quality of life improvement, and should also net a modest little DPS gain from not wasting any of your free buffs anymore. It also makes it so we don't have to hold on to our Vanish casts, because with the live iteration of Count the Odds, you can easily waste free buffs because of needing to re-roll or your buffs falling off, and then if you vanish and ambush right before you do that, then you waste it basically guaranteed. We don't exactly vanish all that often during a boss fight, but Every little extra bit of Roll the Bones buffs over the course of a 5 or 6 minute raid boss does help with overall damage, so having to play around this on live servers is a bit of a nuisance. I personally think that the place we're going to see the largest gain on this Count the Odds chain is going to be in Mythic Plus dungeons. The big reasons are not only are Mythic Plus dungeons way longer than a raid encounter, but we also get far more re-stealth opportunities between each trash pack that we're dealing with. This means more dispatches and ambushes being used from stealth, which in turn means a far greater chance of Count the Odds proccing those 15 long second buffs for free. This change will make our already exceptional potency conduit even more potent, pun intended, and will allow for players to not have to worry about really arbitrary stipulations like not vanishing within 10 seconds of your Roll the Bones buffs falling off, or the annoying feeling of losing free buffs that you got right before re-rolling or right when your Roll the Bones buffs expired because you're moving between trash packs or other of the annoying and numerous situations where you'll feel like you're wasting Count the Odds buffs. One other little tidbit of information I wanted to let you folks know about is that the Count the Odds buff can still be replaced by a regular Roll the Bones buff. It only works the other way around, like if you have a Roll the Bones buff active then Count the Odds won't replace that, but if you Roll the Bones and you have a Count the Odds buff on, there is a chance that it'll still get overwritten with the regular version, so just as a heads up. I'm still hoping and holding out for the fact that there should still be some more tuning coming with the 905 PTR, though they are already making some of these builds labeled as release candidates, which makes me a little leery, though it is nice to see them at least fixing some of these annoying nuisances here and there while they have it on the PTR. Anyways, I hope you folks enjoyed this little breakdown of the new change coming to count the odds for us sneaky boy outlaw rogues. If so, then please consider leaving a like, a comment, or sharing this video with other folks, or if you aren't yet, maybe consider becoming a subscriber to the channel. I cover a pretty good amount of rogue stuff, but I also cover add-ons, other guides, and other WoW systems, and just WoW-related things in general. Anyways, I just wanted to extend my gratitude to you, my viewers, commenters, subscribers, and especially my patrons, who all help make these Shiba shenanigans possible. Thank you all so much for watching. This is the Red Rogue, and I'll see you guys around.